Yeah, I wonder if we might be fun to go back and analyze picks. I think I have to keep all the rest of these cards, by the way. You have returned. I want 18 lands too, which we don't have. Hey, Azarac, thanks for the 12 months. We need the beater. <laughs> Dude, they think cost six mana. All right, let's say I buy a silent dart. I'm not sure I do buy a silent dart removal, but let's say we do. We're, we, the way we win this game is meteor golems and scholars, right? We have to do like we have to do stupid synergies with like soul salvages and rise from the grave on meteor golems with scholars mixed in there to just perpetually cycle all of our fucking removal spells. Is the only way we can do anything. I think we need 18 lands for that. We have one reign of revelation, one cryptic caves to draw, and we are gonna need mana late game. Have a couple mana sinks too. Mass Black Guard can mana sink. Sorcerer of the Fang can mana sink. And then that this guy can mana sink Cage Zombie. Anytime we soul salvage and want to recast creatures, we're going to need high mana count. I think all that's fine. But how do I get to 18 lands here? What's the cut? It feels like cracking to me. I don't think we can cut Scholars and still win games. Certainly not cutting mana dorks. What's the next? I, I, I need two drops. The Sorcerer of the Fang is super weak, but I don't have a lot of two drops. I gotta hold up the fucking board. There's Blade Brand, but Blade Brand's pretty solid. We have weak creatures, and this essentially turns weak creatures into card cycle and trading, which is fine. Maybe it's Disperse. You don't think we need 18 lands here, Sui? I feel like there's a lot of reasons for 18 lands. Is Axe meaningful? It's a fair question. We don't have artifacts matter anymore. What Axe does is it allows our shitters to trade up. Like that stupid Sorcerer of the Fang, like the Aviation Pioneer tokens. That's what Axe is doing for us. And it allows medium cards like Scholars to be beaters too. I really think it's cracking. So I don't actually love Disperse as a card. But Disperse is tempo, and it's generally tempo at the cost of dis a card disadvantage. But we have Scholars. Like, I'm not... Between Scholar, Rise from the Grave, and Soul Salvage, I don't feel like we run out of value in this deck very often. Is there enough other stuff that comes back if we dump Disperse? We can bring back Essence Scatter, bring back Blade Brand... Bring back Soul Salvage. Bring back Reign of Revelation, Siphon, and Strangling Spores. Yeah, it's tempo in a way that might, might let us survive those series, is what I'm getting at. If we if we can't do anything to like turn seven, sometimes dispersing a creature lets us get somewhere. I, I just don't know about this card. This card's gonna let me beat them with air elementals, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. All right, I think we need the land though. So we're gonna do that. And maybe I'm wrong about 18 lands, but this feels like if there's ever an 18 land deck, it's a blue black card draw graveyard recursion deck, right? Like that's that's the type of deck that's gonna do that because it just needs the mana. But I don't actually know how to make that decision particularly. So all of our early cards are black. We need double blue later. We're gonna need triple blue real late. Not really. Be nice to have like a duel here. What do you guys think? Island or swamp? And do we play cryptic caves or not? Could we could go nine nine island swamp. Swamp. A lot of black cards. Some of them instant. Okay. You buy that. Do we go nine nine though and cut the crate caves? Caves is a land that you can colorless land that you can sack it to draw a card. How much time do we have to complete the deck as long as I want? Can easily flood out here. I don't know if I want to be sacking lands or not in this deck. I mean, I will eventually. So much card draw already. Do we have so much card draw? Don't we have one card draw? We have a lot of recursion. I think our only card draw is Reign of Revelation, right? 
every other card is just recursion or cycling, right? We have no other card draw. It's not like we have four divinations. I think we play it. All right. Start a prediction. What are we calling this? Power level 10 seems good. Okay. At 18 lands, you absolutely want Cryptic Caves. I don't absolutely want it. It comes out of downside. The downside is I don't have the colors I need to cast my spells. That's the downside. So I don't absolutely want that. but I might want it. Cardboard live overlay is working. Hey. This shouldn't be. It'd be surprising. Hey, we drew a lot of lands. Seems weird in a deck like this. Okay. Yeah, it is a good hand. Got our colors. Have card draw. No early game. I mean, kind of early. All right, we can stop drawing. That's enough islands for now. Thanks. All right, a 3-3 three, three beater. I believe that beats us. Like, straight up. So we're going to have six mana next turn if this lives. There's a pause there. So does he have that one mana white trick? Is there more than one or just... No, he can always do it. It's always a pause, huh? Jesus. All right. This is technically a 3 4. I have 4, 5, 6 mana, so I get no value out of this, unfortunately. Till next turn. I can't double spell on 3. Okay. 3 4 it is indeed. Uh, we're going to cycle a swamp. Oh, it's, dis it's only creature cards. Fuck off. I thought it was discard a card. Ew. I thought for sure I was getting rid of one of these swamps. Do I want the cage zombie versus this board? No. Okay. That's interesting, though, because I can do this to, like, discard the golem, perhaps, which is not terrible in the future. With our eyes. I mean, this is a thing that can happen. Sure. Uh, he's got the protection card, and we know that. Oh, we just lost. Good game. Now, I can rise from the grave other people's creatures, right? So I can rise from the grave a 3-3, three, three, or I can rise from the grave a 3-4. not an instant which is kind of a bummer I'm, I've got two extra mana from here that I can't utilize right now I think this is just fucking rise from the grave to 3-4 and we're on the dual block the bark hide troll plan this is a pretty unexciting moment in my life so we're playing a 5 mana 3-4 with no text into a 4-4 four four on the board and that's our turn with a mana dork just sitting there. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should have sacked the dude. Shit, should I have sacked this guy? I feel like we're going to get value out of this thing if it lives long enough that I can draw cards that give us value. I don't know if I should have sacked that for a card draw. It feels like no. no. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven, so. I think I killed a mana dork there. What are we looking for? Splinter, I guess? There's, you know, we'll casually main phase uh, instant here.
All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine next turn. Is there anything in our graveyard that's relevant to the game? Maybe? Oh, we're obviously jumping with Sorcerer, for sure. Uh, are we? What if we gang blocked the Acolyte here and took seven, went to six? Kind of want the mana off the 2 2 is the problem. Okay. Six is okay. It's it's not the six that's the problem. It's giving up my mana dork, which is annoying. Like we didn't we cast that guy in turn three and we never used them for mana. I'm so mad I just drew this card. I mean I could Cryptic's Cave during his turn next turn to tap the 7-7. Seven, seven. So am I blocking with Scholar so I can rise from the grave again? I have no other instance or source stone. It's just got flying and killed us. Okay, good game, yeah. Good game. Okay. Fun one. So we needed to draw a bone splinter there, I think. Great hand, super powerful. Kind of what this deck does, though, huh? Can't rip your bet, dude. It's it's best. We get three losses. That's loss one. Your your bet is unimpacted right now. All right, what are the odds? I mean, I wonder if I shouldn't. Even, maybe I should just held essence scatter up and cycled this guy with fucking crypt lurker. Hey, Zim. Yeah, TFT is fun right now. Did they just patch it? I mean, I like a 2-1 into a 1-3. That seems good. What's the drain cost? A thousand? <laughs> 10,000. Okay. Ah, denied. Meteor Golem. Alright. How badly do we want to eat the Sorcerer for a card? Pretty badly, right? Cycle the Scholar. I don't want to eat Scholar. From chat, we need Scholar. I mean, cycling the Golem sets up combos later if we can rise from the grave. But th what is this sorcery doing? I mean, the three four blocks the two one as efficiently as this fucking sorcerer of the fang. I feel like scholar in hand beats sorcerer of fang on board. Well, if we were going to sack it, we would, but Sui's talked me out of sacking it. Okay. Mana dork. Maybe it should have been the other way, the ETB on the meteor. I'm not sure. I, I, my plan going into that turn was attack with Sorcerer and sack Sorcerer. I got talked out of it by chat, but maybe not enough. Like maybe I should have, I don't know. I'm not sure if that was right. It feels really weird. Okay. I mean, got him. Why is my hand revealed? Oh, cause he looks through my hand. It's annoying.
We could be trading damage here. Do we want to trade damage here? I don't really want to trade damage with him. I don't feel like he beats me if I don't trade damage. And I'm sure as fuck not blocking with my 2-3. So now it would be really nice to have that Meteor Golem in hand instead of this stupid Scholar. Just just putting that out there. Chat, I can't make this shit up. I've got people main decking Fry and people main decking Infernal Reckoning versus me. I can't make this shit up. You know it's gonna be you know it's incoming, don't you? Like I know it's incoming. By the way. Okay. If this is a combat trick, that's a I'm a thousand percent okay with that. Especially one that just kills his guy. Like that's that's just a straight two for one in my favor. Alright, but you know, it's it's not it's not gonna be main deck reckoning, it's gonna be mine rot, is what's gonna what it's gonna be. I mean, at least I guess he didn't get our Meteor Golem with that. That one mana exile and uh, thing. Jesus Christ, do we just scholar an empty board for Essence Capture? I think we do. What does this card do? It puts counters on things? Bird, cat, dog, goat, ox, or snake. Can't block, might as well attack. Kind of want to play the swamp. It's definitely worse versus mine rot to hold that in, but there's single card discard in the format too, though. So I don't know. Doesn't do dragon, right? Are we just countering goblin smugglers? I think I am. Oh, that's right, we have Sift as well. Oh, is it now Soul Salvage is his final card? Inevitably. <laughs> Weak draw with the Pioneer here. on the blocking plan now and dying to this dragon slowly maybe that should have been a block with that actually it definitely should have been this telegraphs the trick So what, I swing with Scholar here, offer the trade, but I want to get the value off the Blade Brand, so I guess it's just no attacks is actually the, the play here. Ah, uh, mistake. I don't get pun- I mean, I can get punished, right, if he has, um, anything. All right. Here we absolutely just play this out. Yeah. And here a 4-6 is a nice draw. Still racing, but we can tap his blockers. And we, and there's the, there's the discard one, by the way. Uh, so we just got rewarded for, do I want to tap this? Yeah. Rewarded for playing poorly because we get this card out of turn earlier by drawing it a turn earlier. That's a bad block from opponent, absolutely. Yep. It's sorcery speed to sack this card, so uh, he can't get it on my turn. This card draws people seven new cards when that goes through, by the way. Who are we tapping? We're obviously tapping something.
I mean, he hits us back for eight and then draws a hand of seven. We go to three, actually four with the blood letter. He's not going to chump twice, I don't think. I'm really kind of tempted to make this into a six and see if he doesn't chump it at all and then dies to blood letter. We're gonna get a full new hand. Where do we want the Marauder's Axe? Do we want it on the Kraken so it's a lethal attacker? I think we do. Oh wait, what? do we just chump this fucking thing? I think we maybe do. If he attacks us, we just chump it, right? Because that way he doesn't get seven cards and get out of the hole he's in. He can't, he can't not attack with it though, Sui, right? Because the problem is the Kraken taps it down for him. Wow, okay. Top deck, remove my blood letter. And then draw it out. That's his play, right? Oh, we tap after we draw. Sure, I guess. I've never seen this card go off. I mean, what do you think? He's got like two lava axes that cost two mana apiece and we just die. I've never seen Dragon Mage go off before. So what do we think with a little bit more reflection? I mean, isn't he just dead from this? You know? One red or black mana. I don't know what he can do here. Couldn't I untap my lands? Is it tap or untap? It is tap or untap. Interesting. I guess I could have spent one mana to untap my land to get one mana to untap my land. Done that seven times just to amuse you, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure there's much of a reason to do it. Oh, is it creature only? Okay. We're fine. That was close to not fine, quite honestly. All right, I don't. I still don't know about the play when what when we discarded the um, the meteor golem. I don't know what was right there. We got an essence capture back that got value, but that's not huge. I don't know. Hand looks pretty bad. We got to draw an island. So we got a seven, two seven drops in our hand and an axe with the essence capture. Do we keep this hand? I mean, I don't know that we have to bin this. All of our black, all of our two, three, and four drops are black. We have a play on two. If we draw an island, we hold essence capture for anything that they play. I think I actually just fucking keep this. Chat, why are you on the ship it plan here? We're on the play. I don't want to go down to six on the play. We have to hit land drops and creatures, right? I, I hate this hand, don't get me wrong. It's terrible. But do we win going to six with this hand? Feels like no. I'm sure it'll be, it won't be aggro green cards, right? All right, do we counter the two drop because we have no cards or do we wait for the three drop? Because I could develop the axe right now. The axe doesn't do anything either. See the counter for three drop, right? I mean, I could I could have the decision by not playing this at all, right? But let's just hope he doesn't have one, two, three curving out green, right? If he just has one into three, like we're probably okay. Shit, maybe he didn't even keep any lands. I mean, he's not a. I don't know what this is. What rank this is? I don't remember. It's platinum. I think it's platinum. I don't remember where platinum stands. 
So he's not. We're not playing silver anymore. Is what I'm getting at. It's too bad because then I might expect this to just be a one drop with no lands. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not about that though, right? Like you're you're not wrong, Siri, but sometimes the tempo from a one and a two is just too much, right? You can't always wait to a three. The fact we had a two. Because I'm like, it, right? For example, imagine that. Um, imagine he dropped like a green mana and played like a troll or something. Like, we're all we're always gonna want to counter that in that scenario. There's no card that doesn't get countered here. Three two is a nice pickup for that. Let's just do something. We've done it! Chat, look at this fucking value. We got a beater. Get swole. Four mana, three, three. Not even bad, chat. Four mana, three, three with text. We've done, we've gotten black hill giant. Black vampire hill giant. I don't have that bot in my channel. Soul Salvage is a um, two card. It's this. That's right. Six mana text. What is this? Jesus. So this is an Elemental Matters deck over here. How did we... Dude. We have one more seven drop and one more six drop in the deck. We didn't draw land. I have nothing to soul salvage. We've got a 3-3 three, three on this board. Your turn. It's not a vampire. Sure. It's a human wizard who wants to be a vampire. I believe, chat. I believe we will draw... Jesus, what, what is our ideal draw here? I think our ideal draw is Sift, right? Whatever that card's called. So then I can draw multiple cards out of that. No. Oh, it's not a 2-4. It's a fucking 5-4 because every card in his deck is an elemental, even though the card quality of Scorch Spitter and fucking Healer of the Glade is, like, negative. Well, that's a much more <laughs> painful clock. I mean, I can chump Soul Salvage replay next turn, I guess. Spitter is gas. What? It's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, come on. All right, good game. We don't have any board wipes. We don't even have any particularly efficient mana removal. So this is bad enough as it was. Block. This card is fucking nasty in draft. This card is garbage in draft. One one mana one one just not where you want to be in draft. Yes, and it has elemental matters. Although his payoff, I mean, we've seen two payoff cards for elemental, I guess. But man, I hit the first card we want. We need to hit land next turn so we can meteor golem away the ambusher, and then maybe we're okay. Maybe. I feel like we're low on life. I feel like the block last turn was absolutely essential from this position. You would love a one mana one one in draft. Okay. Well, that does, that's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. The card's terrible. All right, he's got removal for it. What do you think it is? Is he just deciding which of his three removal cards would, would best suit the 4-6 here? Didn't draw land. We have six land. Does it matter if we tap something here? It makes no fucking difference. All right, so we lost because we can't beat the ambusher one more turn. Uh you have returned. Thanks, Nomernus. Forty four months, cheers. Alright. I need this to stop generating three threes. So what's the what's what goes through right now? So this goes to five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eleven, fourteen. So we're dead on board except for strangling spores. And if he waits one more turn, we're dead on board even with strangling spores. We have to spore at the end of the turn here too, which is kind of fucking annoying.
So I can save three life by sporzing the other thing. If he's got a combat trick for this wolf though, can we play around a combat trick on the wolf? I think we have to, because I think if this dies, we have no way to do anything. He's just getting in for damage. I guess it's a post-combat, could be a post-combat three damage. Oh, come on, it's my only other seven drop. Ah! Yeah, I probably should have five mana one three. I just gave up Sui Toy, quite honestly. I guess Soul Salvage into uh, the one three is fine. I'm always blocking there, Joe. The question is whether or not I'm uh, expecting them to combat trick and saving Strangling Spores to deal with the, the three damage on my 6-6 six, six, or if I'm trying to remove the other the other wolf. That's the question. Because by waiting on the Strangling Spores, I take three more damage. Where if I just remove the other wolf, I leave myself open to a combat trick to die, but I don't know if I can play around it, right? Here a fucking 1-3 actually would have saved me another, what, 1 damage. Okay, that's 7. Man, that's soul salvage. I probably lost that turn where I just gave up. Mm-hmm. Adds two four fours to the board. Fuck off, dude. Dude, it's six power. Have to block it, right? I don't have enough mana to soul salvage and meteor golem, unfortunately. Any difference between these two? That can be blocked in future turns. This damage is unavoidable. But if I don't block this, I've already taken one more attack from that. It's just there. So what happens if he just attacks us? We're just dead? Yeah, that turn I didn't play the soul salvage. I think we just lost the game. Seemed pretty unlikely to come back from there, but that was the sequence to come back. Would have made this attacker a 5 4 too, because he wouldn't have had the splitter. I guess he wouldn't have made that attack. That was so brutal drawing the second scholar, just absolutely tilted the fuck out of me. I'm like, oh, okay. We need anything, any playable card. Any land is good. Any card in the deck, except that one specific card, is also good. We would have had at least another turn or two. I needed him not to follow up by making two fucking four fours off the replicator, adding another elemental to make his guy a six four as opposed to a five four. I needed all of those things to not occur. This card, this hand seems amazing. Look, we have our, we have all of our three drops in the same hand. We haven't drawn one in like the past couple. I guess we played this a couple turns, a couple games ago. Back to MTGA. Temporarily back to MTGA, correct. So if I draw a land here, next turn we're going to play the 2-2. Two -two. Protection from black chat.
So I'd really love to play this out. Okay, if I play, so here's the problem, right? If I play this out and we draw a land, next turn is six mana, we double spell. That's great. If I play this out though, I commit to taking four. If I play out the cage zombie, I only commit to taking two. And next turn, if I don't draw a land, this card is dead in my hand, right? Since we only have five mana, it doesn't do anything. It's, it's really close. Oh, we have to hit a swamp too. It's not even one of either. But it does allow us to siphon next turn. I don't know. The fact that I need double swamp is a little bit scary. Like I have to get swamp. Swamp's the most common, but it's only nine, right? And we have one out, so it's only eight. And it's what, eight out of 30? It was swamp, so we get punished for the decision we made. <laughs> I mean, okay. Could blood letter here. Let's be swing back. I could play the dude to try to set up for double spell. I think that's the plan. Probably taking another uh, another two here. Yeah, can golem the apostle. That's true. Is the best play with the info we had at time. Sure. I, I am I am amused by the punish, not not uh, confused by. Do I care about this card? I kind of feel like I don't care about that card. I kind of want the Golem back in the graveyard. So I think I'm Goleming the Apostle is what I'm getting at. I can't Golem. It's one mana short. I have to draw land. I can't anyways. I can kill the 4-3. I can just siphon it. Yeah. I am pleased that he didn't want to attack into the 2-2 artifact creature with this 2-1. Dude, I was totally on board with the seven man. I'm like, yeah, that makes so much sense. We can gall on the next turn. I didn't even count my lands. I mean, I don't want to play a four four into a four three right there. Although I do want to get the elemental out. Vampire Sovereign. Okay. It's a nice meteor golem target too. I gotta get this apostle off the board though. It fucks up all our recursion. So I think this is currently elemental with the information we have. If we draw land, I mean a meteor golem the apostle. I think it's apostle. I have to get the recursion to win, right? See you, Joe. Okay. What's the Apostle do? He uh, exiles cards from graveyards. Doesn't Mirim tap for two? It does. What's four plus two? Six. Six is not seven. All of our removal is black too, so we can't interact with the Apostle except for the Meteor Golem. Exiles at instant speed, yep. Carry the one. <laughs> yeah, carry the one. Yeah, yep, exactly, Sui. So opponent's playing red, white, and black over there. Plague Mare. Okay. It's also like him. Wait, what? Give me a land. Give me a land. Make my life easy. Fuck off. All right, well, we got rid of the Exiler, so the Golem will be good later. I think this is just double spell with vampire, with double vampires here. I'm fine with just more bodies on the board. I just want to make sure I wasn't going to get randomly demon to death. So now we just nuke his 3-4 and start smashing him. Could 
could have attacked with a 3-2 and the 2-3. Didn't feel very good to me. I don't like 12 life here. Do I want to trade the Barony Vampire for the Ghoul? Maybe. So we can get actually drain value out of this, right? So we want something to die because we want the cage zombie to trigger. It's pretty likely it blocks the blood letter. I'm okay with crackback too with the 2-2 two, two and the 3-3 three, three for blocking. What's the mana cost in this? Two? Okay. Spores the enforcer. I'm thinking of sporzing, but I was I guess I could do it still. I kinda wanna just remove his air blocker. So I can still do this as a reaction, right? Should have done this first. So I was gonna make this decision. Oops. Little bit unclear what I wanted to do there before I'm making the moves, which is always a whoops, but it's fine. All right. So now I do want to drain, I believe. Although I didn't really want to tap both these again. All right. I, I, I'm not sure. I, th I think I could have played that turn slightly better, chat. I think slightly better. But I like I like removing the blood letter more than trading blood letters because I wanted to get at a position where we can kill him. We're looking good, but I think that turn could have been better. Dude, another exile from graveyard card. So I think we just slam everything except the cage zombie here, right? If he chumps air elemental, he takes two. He has no I mean he's got a good block with this guy, I guess. So what, the three three? The 2-2, two, two, the 4-4. Four, four. Call it a day. Yeah. Oh, he's got a flyer now from fucking Celestial Enforcer. Shit, I didn't notice that. It's definitely annoying. Do I even attack with a 2-2 two, two anymore? He's just got the, he has the Corsair. He's a free block. I think it's just a 3-3 three, three now. Well, he had to play a flyer, Sui, with that thing out to get any value out of it. So I don't think so. I think I'd still rather have my flyer and force him to have a flyer to interact with that. But I did forget about the the fact he could do it once he played it. And we still get in for drain damage there. He's at two. We got another guy who drains. This guy also drains and it doesn't require that uh, we do damage to them. And we have enough to activate both drains next turn. I think we're still fine. Can we get spores back? We can, yep. But I think we can kill him this turn. He can at instant speed remove that too. Although, not now, clearly. Because he doesn't have two mana. Yeah. He's dead unborn. Mm. Is it non-token creature? He's not dead unborn, I don't think. Okay. I don't remember what Lena does. Doesn't she have some way to make things invulnerable? So couldn't he possibly have blocked us and not lost any creatures by blocking so it doesn't lethal our stuff? I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Cage zombie is only when something dies. Yep. Overlay not working. Title? Yeah. All right. Back on magic drafts for now. I'm, this this format is kicking my ass. We go second, we have sifting in hand, single black source of which we have the most unlocks, a two drop and a four drop, I guess. Okay. 
Duress main deck, sure. I mean, that's not a dead card. 75% of the fucking time you draw it. God, that's so irritating. All right. Let's see you drop red mana and fry, please. We're end stepping Blackguard, right? Oh. What's the pump? It's one plus one. This is a 1-1 one, one life linker, unless he's got a way to play it from his graveyard. I can play it from his graveyard and get a 5-5, five, five, right? Okay. I think holding up pump is better than playing axe here. Mono black one ones duress. Okay. Do I just cycle blade brand here? It doesn't do anything on this board. I think I do. Demon, if I play it from his graveyard, I have to play it from my graveyard. Enters the battlefield if it entered from your graveyard. Ah, that's some shitty language. All right, do we just play a 3 4 onto this board with no cycling? It's okay. I mean, he's going to equip an attack, but so what? We just block with the 2 1. Okay. This card's been okay. Guy's really good at this game. Okay. Dude, was it even two lands? I mean, he gets our next card with the steward, right? Us not getting to eight lands, like, drags this game out for fucking ever. This guy's deck is not good. It's really annoying. And I agree, not good for sure. I mean, I could, I could siphon the steward. It's essentially allowing me to develop mana and not lose my Marauder's Axe. Could just be okay with this board state too, right? Jesus, how do I progress with this game? How many of these do you think he runs? Do you think he just runs one of each and he's got them both when he needed them? This is normally how these decks play, right? They play some shitty cards and draw them luckily. Yeah. Didn't you just earlier, Sui, say that you could run them as a one-off? But yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised to see him do that again. How did he cast it? Isn't it four? It's three. It's a good card on this board. Okay. No, it's not exactly the same, Flaming. I actually pointed that out when I made the comment. It's not the same because you get three life from the Siphon. I think this is Blade Brand. I don't want to put that in his graveyard, particularly.
This counters Axe and all of his cards. I actually think I block here. I don't think I block there at all. Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Okay. So I got rid of the card that makes me discard so I can play again. I only have, I do have two creatures in the graveyard. I think a Soul Salvage here is absolutely fine. Why don't I play my Swamp? The onboard combat trick that makes me discard cards? Salvage for the 3-4. I see. You think he equips and attacks and we get it next round? It's reasonable. I could just fucking siphon this. That's actually pretty reasonable too, honestly. Fuck. Alright, so three lines here. Bring back the stuff. Or just remove the 3-3. Three, three. It's not a bad time to remove it. So the other line is soul salvage for two creatures and pull out both them, which I can do next round. I, I, I hate playing the three, three into something, the, the, the direct damage into something because of things like this. So I don't know what this means when he attacks with the lifelink or with no ax on it. I think it means he fucked up or he has a rebirth effect. Can I beat a five, five right now? Can he play a five, five? So we what swamp rebirth. I don't really want to let him do that. I think I just give him one life. So it wasn't a fuck up. He's actually playing in that order because he wants to have five mana open. start getting him for chip damage. I don't think he can bring it back to that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I've been playing around the uh, the uncommon, the one that rebursts it, but I've not been playing around uh, not been playing around the combat trick. And in fact, he just didn't attack there. Kind of makes that likely, doesn't it? these flyers I don't think they are you're right the common the common combat trick is probably more likely to be in his hand than that we should see that here though right okay. could just be a very good bluff I guess Yeah, exactly. Never blocking that thing for sure. So if he switches that to there, we are going to want to attack with all now. I have the mana for it too. This is fine. So I think this is just swing all. The mana to pump, to be clear, the mana to pump the black guard and play this is what I'm talking about. So Soul Salvage is back online then, or rather um, Scholar is online with Soul Salvage. We have also Siphon in Graveyard. So 
annoying. It's when it dies. Okay. So he doesn't have mana right now. So he's gonna play these, right? So what I actually just want to do is buy back Soul Salvage right now. Is there anything else? Is it, I was trying to figure out if it makes sense to like swap the axe over and attack, but I think it just makes it worse for me in all ways. So I think this is just literally Skull or Go. I guess there's an answer of whether or not I want to crack the Cryptic Caves too. I could use this guy to cast Scholar. I should do that anyways. Man is shy. You have returned. Huh. I think I'm taking the removal though. Hey Mini Morphe. Alright, how does this work? Okay. So I send I can still crack that if I want. Didn't I thought I had one more mana, because I was hoping to soul salvage this turn, but I guess it's okay. It's a little bit more annoying with the three. gonna kill it himself. I guess. Why didn't he do that before damage was dealt? I don't know how fine that is. It does suck. So now I've got a 6-6 demon counter. Do we have um, Bone Splinter in this deck? I'm, I don't think we've drawn it yet. Can't attack into 6-6 at all. Okay. That's what I wanted to see though. So that's good for the extra draw. What are we sacking? Do we care? Do we want to put the scholar in the graveyard? I kind of feel like we want scholar in the graveyard, do we? Actually, I know we do. All right, so we're going to scholar pull back or not. We're going to soul salvage back scholar and flyer and play that out. An equip, I think. Not quite enough for equip. Can't do math. Don't want to attack and give him more tokens. Happy to play the flyer out. Okay. Bit of a weird one to navigate, but I feel like this is the first good game that's been played today, right? Reading opponents, playing around things, having an interesting and uh, interesting gameplay. I mean, this is what our deck wants to do. All right, so we're gonna equip up the blood letter and start smashing, right? Am I also draining anything? I doubt it. I could drain the zombie token. Does this go face? Yeah, it does. Anything I want to scholar right now? I don't want to scholar the bone splinters back. So what do I have for mana? Five swamps. I don't know why it puts the swamp in a different pile. Like, I guess it has summoning sickness if it becomes a creature and attacks. Anyways, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Five and four is, or seven and four is not that. We already have this two to equip and four. I think I might just be draining this. Engine is dead. Nope. Scholar back the uh, 
thing in a second. Oh, if he draws mine rot, you call. Should have moved Axe again, I guess, because I got to block the 4-4. Four four. What does this do? Choose target permanent in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Return it to your hand. Okay. Dude, that's your best blocker, man. You sure you want to use that? No attacks. You can't no attacks from this position. You lose with no attacks. So somehow we don't have the ability to do one damage. I guess he loses anyway. So four blockers, four attackers, only three of them are ground. So it doesn't make a difference. All right, so we hit him in the air for the blood letter. Play out Scholar. Two mana doesn't get me anywhere. I'd rather have the blocker. I guess I could bone splinter, but what? What am I bone splintering? It doesn't matter. No. cards in hand. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Accepted. Okay. This thing has lifelink. Oh, okay. Fun game. That one was, I mean, that's what our deck wants to do, right? If we hadn't got that bone splinter when we did though, we might've been in some serious trouble because I don't know how else we removed that demon. All right, what time is it? Lunch time? I guess we can just go to three losses <laughs> real quick. Draft again after lunch. What's this hand like? All right, so this hand is fine. Yeah. What is for lunch? Um, scholar, scholar combo. Delicious, delicious scholar. Did it, chat? We used our mana. Got in for three. Never seen strangling spores. It's not very good. It's four mana minus three minus three. At instant speed. Dude, he just got prismite value. Disaster. Fucking disaster. Do I strangling spores the prismite to stop him casting spells? Yes. I can't, I mean, I only get one block. I guess I technically threaten to block this till he pumps. So I guess I do it on his turn. So he attacks both, I block Kerr. He pumps Kerr to prevent me from getting plus one, plus one, and I remove his Prismite in response and just trade it. That seems okay. He still has no red mana source. So it's the, my incentive to remove this Prismite just went up again. There's no way you splash Kerr, your main deck red playing that card although that's a much juicier uh, spore target yeah. 
Oh, I'm missing the mana. I feel so bad. Okay. Pass. Your turn. Hopefully it's a red-green aggro deck with all low-cost red spells. Why isn't he attacking? I don't think the block is good here. I think I need to block the 3-3 next turn. If we draw a land, it fucks things up a little bit, but I don't think I get any value from this block. Maybe I should have blade branded that turn. So I did draw the land, so I did get punished for waiting. I think I'm okay arrow mentaling the uh, the devils and trading it. And then just rebirthing the elemental. See what else he adds to the board. What do you guys think? Is it going to be Fry or Plummet that kills the air elemental? So the reason why I couldn't block last turn is I need the... If I didn't draw a land there, I needed the black guard to be able to blade brand plus block the devils. And I'm glad we drew land, but it, it unfortunately didn't interact with what we did there. Yeah, Pylord, but I mean, the last couple opponents we played have main decked all the shitty cards. So I'm actually going to block here. I know it kills it, but I'm okay with that. elementals two so it's a three four it's a four four when it attacks Dude, I wish I'd drawn land here so I can trade the air elemental again for the lava brawler it's probably fine getting rise in the graveyard is actually valuable with two scholars in hand blade brand look for uh, land it's not that I don't dislike it's not that I don't like the idea it's just that I don't think it's I don't think I get enough utilization right it's gonna give me four lands doesn't do anything Bone Splinter, the Brawler after Blade Branding. I don't think so. I think I can do better than that. I think this is better. I'm happy to trade Black Guard for like the 1-2 or the 2-1. I'm happy, or maybe not. We'll see. I might have to remove it. I'm happy to block the 2-4. We do want Scholar, that's true. But I want to get value out of Blade Brand as well. And I can do that still, potentially. The problem with the play you suggested, right, is that I take the damage off the Kerr and the Prismite. Yeah. What is this? I mean, that doesn't change anything. It's still a 5-4. We're always blocking this, so. I know chat I, I know I, I understand how this card works I understand the things I can do with it I know I can cycle it off their cards I get it so we're obviously going to blade brand here this is fucking sick for us right so all I'm trying to do is just delay the game as long as possible till I can start scholar comboing right Oh, wait, that, that mirror is pretty fucking good there. Mirror or whatever it is. What is a Palladium mirror? What's a mirror? An MYR. Never heard that in my life. Now the question is do I braid Blade Brand or not? It's just a draw. It's not just a draw. So I block here. Do I blade brand? I mean, obviously not here, but I mean, end of turn. Doesn't matter here, right? So we do have two spells in the grave already, but I, I wouldn't mind a mana is all. I 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem is next to, I mean, I guess I have to take the three off that is all. Shit, how much do I value this Miram here? So I'm going to play Scholar this turn, always. I could tap it for mana. I could, for example, tap, I don't have Soul Salvage yet as the issue, but I do have Rise from the Grave. So I could tap this for mana, Bone... Bone Splinter away the 3-3 three, three, so I don't get the ping back, and then play out Scholar, and then recur Bone Splinter and Rise, or Rise and um, the other one. I think this is fine. Problem is I can't have this on the board with the Scholar on the board or I lose both, which is why I don't want to worry about that. I think I get max spores over bone splinters right now. Now, I wish I had my soul salvage in hand. So we could start our infinite. We're down to six mana too, which is pretty fucking painful. I can rebirth the air elemental as a four four. Okay, massively punished for not having bone splinters right now. We don't have the mana to do anything about it either. What does this fucking card do? It just wins the game single-handedly. Six mana, exact mana, get screwed by this bullshit. That's so frustrating. So it can be pumped twice and you get another one from this. So it goes to nine. I think he's got another dragon to follow it up. It's like in, it's it's certain that he does. But the question is, so our mana is six now, which is the shitty part. I have to kill this next turn. To kill it next turn, I've got to get Bone Splinter back. To get Bone Splinter back, I either need mana or to put the Scholar in the graveyard. I actually think that's okay. If we attack, we die? Really? I feel like we're fine with that. Because I do need Scholar back in the graveyard, right? Do we just die? I didn't count? Oh, fuck. I didn't count. I, I read that from chat. I'm like, that seems like a good idea. We do have a way to kill the dragon. We're going to rebirth our Scholar next turn into a Bone Splinter. We can't kill the dragon this turn anyways. There's no way we can kill that, right? I guess I maybe could have taken the one out of the hand to keep the 3-3 three, three on the board. Maybe that was better than this play. I mean, this play gave him the option to block, I guess, but he was never going to. He can see this the cord in, in our hand. Okay, I might just be dead. Like a titanic growth and like pumps kills me, right? Is it going to be titanic growth to lose us the game? Come on. He doesn't deserve to win this game. Just, just red green curving out. So one more pump and a titanic growth kills us. Lava Axe kills us here too, at five. I don't think I can play around Lava Axe though. I do have life gain in this, I've got the blood letters.
All right, so we're dead to Lava Axe. Dead to uh, whatever it is, Triceratops too, right? The 5-4 Haster. I think there's other Hasters in this format too. All right, what's our mana? Nine. So we can bring back Scholar. But bringing back Scholar doesn't super help us, right? So we're just rising his guy. We got nine. We can hold up Strangling Spores too. So I think we just rise from the greatest red card, right? His dragon. Bring back Scholar, get back Rise and Rise and what? Splinters. Shouldn't bring back Scholar? Why? I don't mind Scholar here. I need to full control this, huh? Can I still do it? No, I can't. Fuck. Okay, it's all right. Do we let him untap? I'm okay trading the 3-3 off, right? So just remove this. Yeah, we should have spored first. Alright, I think I know for a fact the sequencing was wrong. There's a million sequences we could have done there. I'm not sure which one I wanted to do exactly. Bringing back the dragon's okay too. I don't mind just recurrent getting the value here. I'm not worried about red green bringing his dragon back, although maybe I should be. I am worried about uh, pump spells here. Worried about hasters here. I don't know. Okay. I mean, we just scholar bone splinter again. More mana is actually good here. The ten mana. So we bone splinter the four four. Rise from the grave the scholar. Pick up the removal. I think seems pretty reasonable. the dragon because every time I bring the scholar back I get two removal cards we can dragon to kill him later we don't want to be only blocking we can still die there's still cards in the format that kill us there's a hasted dragon there's a 4-4 hasted dragon that he can attach his equipment to and kill us there's lava axe that can kill us so we do we do want to kill him rapidly but we got to work through his shits first right All right, the 11th mana may have been more than I needed. I think we rise his dragon here. So his dragon does six. We hit him for three, bring him to 11 and threaten lethal with the dragon now. So I think this is the turn to do it. No declared dominance. Okay, we were very close to dead. I mean, this seems like a decent meteor golem. Do we win? So what? I don't know that I can get two more damage, right? So I don't think I can kill him this turn. I think we win, but I don't think I can kill him. It's not a matter of tapped out. It's that I apparently didn't do math correctly last turn. It's gonna be top deck Lava Axe. Good game, sir. Good game. Told you! Fucking called it! <clears throat> 
Guy deserves the win, right? He worked hard for it, played well. All right, I'm gonna go get lunch. Back in a minute.
All right, chat, back from lunch. Painful way to lose. I'm just trying to think. I mean, I'm sure we took one extra damage somewhere in that fight, in that game. I'm sure there was. We could have Suicide Reborn 4-4 oh, no, Flying suspect. Elemental to block Dragon. Steal no, we couldn't. We are building an army. I don't think so, anyways. Thanks for the gift to sub, Calric. I, I guess I don't know if we couldn't have. My suspicion was that we probably didn't have the time to do that, right? It's my suspicion. Ah. <sighs> You know, we could have taken back Bone Splinters instead of Strangling Spores. He could have just not top decked on a fucking red green deck with no draw. So maybe just not top decked Dragon into Lava Axe to win the game. Like, I don't, I don't know. If there's a, I don't know if it makes sense to look back like that. It makes sense to look back at what plays could have been better, but I'm not sure just getting one more life from our plays is better in context, right? Like, the fact that he killed us with exact lethal from a top deck fucking lava axe is certainly trash. We had the opportunity to kill his tutu. Like, you can't say those things in isolation like that. It just doesn't mean anything, right? It would have been, what What did we do differently, right? So, I mean, the, the way to look back at that is to, play the, is to play the game again, rather than just speculate wildly at those things. We could do that. I'm not sure we'll see it where it is. So, oh, I haven't finished the prediction, thanks. Easy channel point farming. Yeah. So I don't know. There, there's certainly there's certainly some value in going back and looking at it. I just don't know if I can mentally handle that. Like there were a million decision points in that game about which cards to recur and when, which blocking to do and when. It fills you with determination. I don't know. Galhina Catalica. So sub. Dive right into another draft or replay that? I think we dive into another draft. I am certainly tilted from it. 100% tilted from that. So it's probably a good time to draft what I'm getting at. Yeah, something, something, hindsight. It's not wrong. I mean, it's not that I think we played that flawlessly. I'm sure there were mistakes there. I don't know if the mistakes contributed to the win or loss of that game, though. What does this thing do? It's pretty bad. There's actually a goblin deck in this format, right? I had a guy um, not only volley me, but you know that goblin that searches? I had a guy last night search with that thing and hit two one one goblins off of that. I was so fucking angry. I have no idea what to pick here. These look terrible to me. There's a dual land that doesn't seem particularly relevant. There's a pretty weak red un, uh, un uh, red rare. The veteran is all right. It's not good though. It's a 4-2 body for four, which isn't good. You need goblin synergy. The animator's okay too. I think I'd rather speculate on animator than goblin. And that card's not worth playing. I don't really like this card. Okay. I think the goblin's higher power level than the animator if you have a goblin deck, but of course we get immediately punished by probably the best goblin in the format, which is goblins aren't that strong. There's a Luminous Bonds here, there's a Fountain of Renewal. The Fountain has multiple synergies in this format, right? There is life gain stuff in this format. Bonds is good, but it's not a pacifism. It's just like a, it's like a more expensive pacifism. It is a more extensive, expensive pacifism. Animator Fountain value. Electrify is pretty bad. I like Brute a lot, but I don't think it's worth picking over Bonds or Fountain. I don't think Fountain's good enough to pick either. So I think it's just Bonds. Yeah. The Goblin Punish? I don't know. Do you really want to be in that position, Calric, where you're forced to take Bogart Brute and uh, that Goblin, inst whatever the Goblin is, over Luminous Bonds and Animator? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, clearly, since I chose the opposite. It's a Divination there, which is nice. There's a Symbiont, which is okay. There's a Militia Bugler in the color of our removal. Power two or less. Hits the Skilled Animator. Have to be a pretty dense deck for that to be good, though. I think this is divination. I don't see colors. I, I, I want to pay attention to color cards and off colors that are still good for us. I think the symbiont's all right, but I don't think it's good. Going Gandalf. Well, Gandalf gives you the illusion of control, which is nice. Okay. Well. 
that's a luminous bonds now into an angel. I would love the pioneer. It has synergy with the animator. But I think angel's too good to take pioneer for. Splash lava axe. It's such a meme to fucking die to lava axe at exactly five HP one turn before killing the opponent. Like it's pretty fucking it's pretty fucking irritating. Guy's deck was really good too. It's kind of what you need in a red green deck, right? You just need really high quality cards because you you're never you're not you don't have any you don't have any smoothing. So everything is at the at the ch at chances uh, call. What is miscolor? Terrible. That's what it is. Suspicious bookcase doesn't really have synergy with skilled animator. There's a, another. It's an ogre, I guess, not a goblin. I mean, I could preemptively pack beast here. There's no, I mean, I could white black dual land too. I think pack beast maybe wheels. Probably we get no, oh yeah, probably we get no value out of this, but maybe that symbiont comes back for example. Isn't fountain always better than bonds? No, since I chose the opposite. Because the potential for more life gain over time. What the fuck is life gain over time? That's not even a thing. What? Like, I, I'm happy to interact with that question if you can phrase that in a way that has impact on reality. Like, what? There are life gain synergies. You don't care about life gain because you're trying to get like some max amount of life. You care about life gain because of the synergies with it. Removal is just really, really powerful, right? So if there, I had a shit ton of synergies, maybe there's a world in which the, the fountain is just better than the luminous bonds, but on pick two, I don't think so. So this is a card row case splashing. We got white take vengeance which is kind of whatever it helps for tempo though we might get tempo in a deck like this but i really like reanimator it's kind of a payoff for something like sanctuary i don't know no i i, I guess i'm maybe a little harsh in that comment like maybe he has a different point in mind too i just it feels like one of these comments that's designed to like just like second guess i mean i don't know Card is really bad. I guess I take a three-one body. I guess we don't know our primary colors. We might be splashing white in a black deck, at a black blue deck. It's possible too, but that doesn't change these picks, right? We're not anywhere near green or red. This card is bad. I don't really like chill in this format. Totally lost. I don't think it's very playable. I'd rather take the three-one. kind of animate reanimation. So we got a white flyer, pretty weak one. And a expensive raise dead. Okay. Did I just put that? I was playing with this pen thing, I just lost a part of it. It's another white black dual land, seems nice. I forget what the S stands for right now, two tragedy booty. I was trying to remember that acronym. Oh, life total is not important in draft. I mean, it is in the sense that you don't want to die, but it's not important besides that. So this is interesting. I don't even know if we're in blue right now. We haven't seen a blue card since our first two picks, right? So Gearsmith is not a target for skilled animator, although it is a body for that. There's another white black duel and there's a Sentinel. Sentinel is very slow and clunky. Synergy, that's right. The breast acronym is Synergy. Thank you. Several turns on Fountain Heal. It's not really how Fountain works. If you draw it early, you get several turns of it. Oftentimes, you end up just playing it and cracking it. The real, the real payoff of Fountain is um, is life gain synergies, like cards that get tokens off, like plus one plus one counters or something off of life gain, or drain the opponent off of life gain. There's a number of payoffs in this format for it. Things like um, the Ajani, the two two Ajani guy that grows or the um, black vampire that drains them when you gain life or that kind of stuff. That's the that's the synergies for that. Pure life doesn't do anything, right? Life is the, one of those totals that it, your life total only matters that you're above, above zero, right? That's the only time your life total matters. So being at 50 is the equivalent to being at 20 is the equivalent to being at one. 
in a lot of scenarios. Clearly, like six would be better than five for lava axe, but the point's still the same, right? You don't want to be at zero. So you don't get a lot of board impact from having 37 life. So if you spend resources early game to get your life total up, it may not do anything for you. This is fucking hard, this pick, because we don't actually have that many black cards, but we've got really good black white mana here. We don't know if we're blue here at all. Murder is premium removal. Seal Overseer is fine. Six seems way higher than what I would give that. I'd give that a good. I think the two picks for me are actually Murder or Scholar. I don't think either of those wheel. The problem is I don't know if I'm playing blue yet or not. I don't really know if I'm playing black yet either. Overseer is very gross. He's not very gross. He's a 2-2. Two -two. He's, excuse me, a 1-1 one -one for 2 mana. That's not gross. He has slow growing potential. But so what? Now, you want to talk gross. That card is gross. It's still there, too. Is there any fucking possible way I could play green here? Yep. Could play black green here. How powerful is Tombbound Lich? Not very. It's not bad, but not good. This card is, as I said, uh, I think I'll speculate on that. The Tombbound Lich seems fine. There's a blue elemental in there. It's pretty off our colors. Got to pick a second look. There's a white green duel if we're trying to fit the green. This is a pretty solid green card too. Silverback Shaman. I haven't seen blue at all. I mean, this is pack two though, so it's going the opposite direction. All right. Lotus Field, an interesting one. I don't know what this card does. Enters the battlefield, target player shuffles any number of target cards from the graveyard into their library. It's bad. Gruesome Scrounger, deals damage to target opponent. That's interesting. It's a decent black removal piece. Wilds is a search land, although it's tapped. There's a decent green early game card. That's a challenging fucking pick, man. Oh, it's opponent or planeswalker. That card's not good. I thought it was creature. It's also removal in white. That's technically fixing. It's just hard to use fixing. The problem is if you draw this and you don't have three lands, right? Yeah, I'm looking at black green core with the power of like ambusher right now. And if it's black green core or black white or green white core, so we're going to be black, green, and white are the colors we're playing with the dual lands we picked up. It's another black, white land. I don't know what this card does. Kind of tempted to take that griffin. I'm not expecting a bunch of elementals in black, green, white. Might be too slow is all. All right, not playing blue. So Lich is gone. It's Ox worth it in a deck like this. If we're playing white, it's pretty shit, but it is a blocker, technically. There's the Feral Invocation, which is okay. Could be our second Lich if we had gone blue, white, black. I don't want Growth Cycle. It's between these. Feral Invocation is a much better card than Ox. Goes okay on Flyers, of which we're starting to push out a couple. Okay. Pattern Matcher. So duplicates. Doesn't really help us. There's an axe in here. It's okay. It's a bad trick. This guy ends up not being good. So. All of these cards are dead to us except the axe and the hero heroism, I guess. I don't really want heroism. I do like the lifelink off that, though. Hmm. 
Another pattern matcher, thought distortion, another moment of heroism and a raise the alarm. Take raise the alarm. So we're playing white, green, main. Splashing black. Can't splash murder though. Might have been wrong. Raptor, Fathom Fleet. This card doesn't seem good. <laughs> Alright, take a two, two drop body over the Cryptic Caves. We're playing three colors. We don't want to add a colorless sources to our deck. Why the Masses is okay. Angelic Gift is okay. I still don't know what our core colors are. I mean, we're playing all three clearly, but what, what primary colors? Or is it just going to be pure on three color? I don't want Might of the Masses, so I guess I'm grabbing Angelic Gift. Card can sometimes win games. We got pack three to fix this out. I mean, it's definitely the most powerful card in our deck. So I don't hate that. And it didn't exactly um, cancel the other cards, right? Like we never saw blue again. So. Gift of Paradise fixing. I, it's a dead card, right? You spend your time casting it. You don't get any value out of it that turn. All it does is fix. It's kind of a hard, it's a clunky card to play. We'll see. We'll see what the mana looks like. I mean, we, we picked four fixing cards in two packs. So I, I feel like we're paying some attention to fixing already. I can cut white. I don't think I want to cut white. I might not want to play the white early game cards like Swift Claw and Raise the Alarm, but with Angel and Grim Protector and Triple of Sanctuaries, Quadruple Sanctuaries, I don't think I want to cut power cards like Angel, right? If your mana base is good, you want to play the most powerful card you can. That's that's how that works. Peer into the Abyss, seven mana. It's a scam. What is this card? Two, three zombies you control get plus one, zero. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, you may pay two if you do create. That's interesting. Any green cards in here? Not really. There's a rise again. It's okay. There's also finishing blow, which is just premium removal. Five mana. Do I just take finishing blow here? Over the devotee? We don't actually have shit for three drops. That devotee is pretty fucking good. Kind of need kill kill card removal though. I mean, what what is our current removal? We've got murder only. I really like this card in my deck row. It seems good. I guess I don't have any other. I guess I have one zombie. The grave diggers is on me. Three two grave diggers chat. We're gonna miss out. Take blow. I don't know. I mean, the problem with this right is there's it, it's not clear which is better there. Obviously, you take the best card there, but what is the best card there? We don't know. Stitcher's a zombie. I don't know if I'm playing the Stitcher. But yeah, it is a zombie, it's true. 2-1 two, one, two, one Stitcher value. I actually didn't know that was a zombie. It's kind of weird, because why would the Stitcher's supplier be a zombie? Anyway. So removal now is Luminous Bonds, which is okay removal. Finishing Blow, which is pretty premium, although slow, and Murder, which is like the nuts for removal. So I saw I got beat by Carrion Grub yesterday, which was brutal. It's more graveyard synergies there. We've got a Chrome Replicator, which has been very good against us, but I have no duplicates in my deck, so it's very hard to use that. Skeleton there, a Truffle Smelt for a three drop. It's just a three for three, three. I don't think that's very good for us. That is a seven mana, six, six flyer that can pump. That's a nut card too. Nutty card. I think it's just a truffle snout. We can hope it wheels. Oh, there's an acolyte. We're playing white base. We're playing green black base. So I don't want to splash that. Oh, there's a swift response. I'll take that. That seems better. I didn't even see this card. I've never seen this card in my life before. <laughs> so that's an instant speed uh, kill a tap creature. That's fucking great. Okay. Another zombie. Blocker at three mana is okay. The imp was quite solid as a blocker. Better than the zombie. Beat of resistance is a sick trick, but we are black green base splashing white. I can play that on splash. I think I'd rather have some early game to survive, especially since we have no early game at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna imp here. I think. I I, I think feed is amazing. 
But look at our curve right now. We have zero three drops. And we're not playing white, so we have one two drop and one one drop. We we need to have stuff in the early game. I've been wanting to play this card every time I see it. What does it do? As an additional cost to cast a spell, sack a creature. I mean, that's pretty interesting. It's another finishing blow, though. Dude, that's a 5-5 five, five flying trampled demon that makes them sack a creature. Just a track down in here, too. I want this card, this card, and this card. What does this card do? Assassin as a black-green, too. It's pretty solid, too. The fuck do we take here? I think I'm still taking finishing blow. I don't know. That was a super, super hard one. I need early game. The two drop is interesting. Anything else in here is another two drop. It's a fixer, but it's worse than this thing. There's a cultivate. It's fixing. I'd love to play cultivate. Do we have enough end game that we can do that? We did just take early picks to deal with this shit. This card might wheel too. Card seems okay. Another Cultivate, Truffle Smout, and a Black Green Duel. All these cards, I mean, this is kind of, we're gonna get kind of get a rewarded, I guess. Is this card playable with what we have? I don't really feel like we have enough creatures to make use of that. We don't have any token generation. Kind of on a three drop. It feels ugly as fuck, but oh well. This card seems busted, I saw this card earlier. It's another imp, so black green are super open. Look, track down, scythe, and imp all here. The last four picks have been that way too. So I think we figured out the right lane. This is a growing piece of equipment. Versus an imp, oh dude, it's hard. I'm gonna try this, I wanna play this card. I haven't played imp, I haven't played um, the growing equipment. That's a fucking bomb. Three drop. Dude, Village Rights is nice too, though. Dude, Black Green is so open right now. It's another removal. Clunky, though. I don't want this card. It's Recursion. I actually want Recursion. We can play our Stitcher Supplier with that. So Zombie and Blackguard both wield. What did I just get? Did I just miss it or did I get the guy? Fuck, I don't know what I just picked there. The black green card wield. So did track down. This card seems better than that card. This card is really nice though. I want to try that card too. All right, so um, questionable at the end there. There were so many decisions at the end. You almost never have that many decisions at the end. Kind of interesting. All right, so are we playing white is a first question. I think the answer is yes, although we're not playing all of the white cards. So the white splash is angel, swift response, griffin protector, luminous bonds, and possibly angelic gift. I think that's enough for white. We'll see what the green black looks like. So we did pick up two recursion cards, right? So we have a Macabre Waltz, which is a worse soul salvage in my opinion. And we picked up a... It's a real questionable card. Where's the other one? Grave Digger. And Sanguine, Indul Sanguine Indulgence. So this is a four mana raised dead, but I don't have to lose any value. And this is a two mana raise dead, but I have to lose value. I've got a pretty low value zombie here. Doesn't trade up, don't have anything to sack with it. We do have the ax if we wanna play that. I don't know if we do or don't. Sanguine works with truffle. What is truffle? Sure, sure. Yep, it works with truffle, not wrong. All right, fairly good removal, little light on the creature count. Pretty powerful creatures when we have them. Deck looks okay to me, man. 
All right, so what cards come out? We're at 43 here. The Axe is a little bit questionable right now. I don't want Waltz and Sanguine Indulgence, I don't think. I think I kind of wouldn't mind trying this. We took the Scythe over the second Imp. I did get the Blackguard. Okay, so that was the card that I was wondering about. So I took another two drop over the two, three. Two basic land cards only. So we're gonna have to play a Plains. I don't think we need to play more than one Plains though. All right, what's the land count right now? Hold on, one, two, five, seven is 12. 15, 16. We'll deal with the numbers in a second. I just want to make sure there's 17 in there. Cultivate seems so slow. Cultivate's interesting. It's fixing and acceleration. It's a dead card later though, right? So we're actually not so many playables, huh? All right, this is 42 with all of our mana in, okay? So we're definitely playing this. Curve is pretty expensive. We're playing that probably 100% playing Luminous Bonds and Swift Response. Okay. So we need two cards out, and I don't know how many lands we want yet. It's probably going to be 17 just to try to protect from color screws. So the Scythe only grows if the creature that it's equipped to dies. But it's a permanent growth on the artifact, which is interesting. This card is pretty weak. I mean, Death Touch, I think I want to play Supplier. I mean, it can mill our value card, which is super bad. We could run Macabre Waltz as well. I could just cut Supplier. I mean, it's six cards in the graveyard, which is card selection for us, essentially. I mean, we ended up with what? The Night Pack Ambusher, the Shaman, and the Assassins for green. I have a lot of instant speed removal. I don't think I also want to hold instant speed pump. Flying on some stuff is okay, but we look like we're going through the ground a lot. I'm not sure Angelic Gift fits this deck. Big boy in the bottom, big boy in the bottom. Token generator, recursion. Do we want Axe and Scythe? That's a good question. Clearly plus two plus O beats plus one plus one, but plus two plus two is clearly beats plus one plus plus two plus O. So there is an argument for just stripping Axe out of here. We're gonna have tokens, so applying things, but we got plenty to do with our mana, right? We have a lot of instant speed removal. And we have Recursion. I wonder if we cut Axe and then cut Gift and run Macabre Waltz. Thing is, having two Graveyard Buybacks is actually decent in this deck, right? We've got Stitcher Supplier. Some pretty bomb rares that are creatures that will win the game on their own, right? And we've got Grave Digger. So we do want Graveyard. This is definitely a Graveyard Matters kind of deck. We don't have much flying or much reach, right? We've got the one Angel of Dawn, the one Griffin Protector for flying. We have zero reach cards. Oh, and we have the Imp for flying as well. Kind of don't really want to play the Angelic Gift, but I could just cut the Fleet Cutthroat too. He seems pretty shit. Although, presumably we're going to get some value with like Ambusher plus Fleet Cutthroat, I guess, at some point. Card doesn't seem great. We don't have, the thing is you, what we want for this is we want some attackers. We want some creatures that are like disposable attackers and we just don't really have them. And it's a three drop for four. Or three, three for four rather. All right. So let me just take a look at the creature count here. It might be a little low. It is a little low. Maybe Angelic Gift just needs to be that last creature. I like it because it cycles, gives us flying. Flying is definitely a format to victory in this game. It gives us pressure or defense, depending on what we need. The downside is just, and it replaces itself, which is nice. Downside is a splash color, but we got plenty of mana. 
13 is not bad. It's not high yet either though. And the problem with graveyard recursion is if we don't have cards in our graveyard, graveyard recursion starts getting pretty bad. 